So the human visual system can perceive uh, approximately 10 power 10 different light density levels. However, uh, so many li light density levels are not required. Um, we, we only discriminate between a uh, much smaller number that we call it as a brightness adaptation. So perceived intensity of a region is related to the light intensity of the region surrounding it. So there are certain, um, for example, there are certain effects within the eye that uh, does not require uh, so much of uh, a changing intensity lights to be uh, seen. So they generally uh, have uh, lesser, uh, you know, levels. And then we, 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 we see between two different levels. So that we call it the brightness adaptation. OK. Uh, now, perceived intensity levels overshoots and undershoots at areas uh, where this intensity changes, for example. So uh, the actual intensity is here. The perceived intensity is here. OK. So actual intensity, for example, this region, actual intensity is in increasing. But the intensity is seen as only a constant across this region. So what happens is uh, 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 the uh, perceived intensity, if you look at it, for example, if there's a change in intensity, for example, it goes from uh, this value to another higher value, it changes from this value to higher value. The intensity being that is being perceived is basically um, uh, uh, overshoots at, at the areas of. So this is one of the mechanisms. For example, uh, actually, if you look at it, um, uh, th th I mean, you you can see that you know the, these uh, intensities are darker in these regions compared to regions here. For example, is throughout this region, the uh, intensity is so much only. But at the edge, if you look at it, so there, there is a uh, effect, you know, because uh, the, the intensity is changing across this vertical uh, line. So uh, you see that there is a strong, uh, you know, um, higher value of or lower value of, um, uh, for example, the intensity being seen. So that essentially is what is called as the one of the um, uh, um, uh, uh, physical, um, you know, um, um, uh, I would say the effect of eye. So this is sometimes called as the Mac band effect, right? Mac band effect. Now uh, our eye should be able to discriminate between two uh, colors or two intensities. For example, there's one intensity here. There's another intensity there. And now it's able to perceive, for example. So this is an example of uh, brightness adaptation or sometimes discrimination. It's called simultaneous contrast, for example. Now it says that you know all these three uh, um, uh, uh, intensity values within the small square are same. Only the background intensity keeps changing at every time. So this is changing. This is changing. Background is alone changing. Small one is same intensity. But if you look at this particular uh, third image, for example, it looks you know this is more darker. Okay. So uh, appears darker uh, when you when you have the outer, uh, you know, for example, the background is uh, gets lighter. So, I mean, there are there are uh, problems associated to uh, image perception, right? So you suddenly look at an image is um, as a different uh, change in intensities and things like that, but really not. So this is what is called as the simulta simultaneous contrast. It's called as a simultaneous contrast. So image can uh, uh, can uh, falsely appear, okay? I would say it's falsely appearing to your eyes.